thanks to Adrian. You know, people say that coaches are supposed to be role models, are supposed to um, help people grow up, are somebody that you learn from and everything. And you hope that you teach players a lot of things. But every once in a while, players teach coaches a lot of things. Because of all the injuries we've had, I've learned their minor injuries. When you look at life, the second greatest thing that happened to me was this year. Lacey went back in the hospital and uh, we knew it was bothering Adrian. And so I, uh, I asked Adrian, you wanna go down to the hospital? I'll go with you. And he said, yeah, it'd be great. When we got up to the room, she was going through one of her tough times and uh, hadn't been awake much for a couple days. And Heather, mother, as we walked in, you know, for her and Matt, Adrian Superman. In fact, for you, he's Superman, right? Yeah? <laughs> you better be Superman in the next couple weeks. So if you don't mind, let them know, all right? Coach this team, would you? So we went in there and we sat there and, and uh, Adrian sat on the bed and I sat in a chair and we couldn't wake her up. And Heather kept yelling, Adrian's here to see you in her ear. Adrian's here to see you. Adrian's here to see you. One of the greatest things I've done in my 30 years here was watch the next two minutes as she turned around and looked and smiled. I mean, smiled from ear to ear. And watching Adrian deal with her, you know, like BJ says, hey, I probably have it out with all my players because I love my players. I want them to do something special in life like I got to do. But watching that moment, I could never teach that. I could never coach that. I learned from him. Because of that day and all the other days, we have given, we've given you a picture of your Superman. I think it's on senior night, is it, AP? On senior night, I know you can't see this, but it's a picture of Adrian walking out of the tunnel with his role model and his inspiration which became our team's inspiration, which should become our country's inspiration. Somebody battling something and not giving up with a smile as big as any. So I just want to say, Lacey, that uh, you hang this next to all the other things you do on that wall, with Adrian's pictures and all the things he did. Thank you for being so good and such a good role model. And thank you, Adrian for teaching me something. You want to speak? First of all, I would like to thank God and, uh, you know, thank him for, you know, blessing me to be able to be in her life and, uh, you know, just being able to be a, you know, special part of her life and, and her family and uh, that, uh, that y'all continue to pray for, pray for Lacey. She's so powerful and, and strong that, you know, she can encourage a lot of other people and touch a lot of other people's heart. When Coach was talking about it yesterday, it brought tears to my eyes. You know, um, for every game I wear, I wear a bracelet on my sock just because yeah, basketball is it's so small in a picture of life. You know, she's fighting for her life every day and I fight to play a game. We, we look at basketball games as life or death, but I mean, she's actually fighting and, and beating something that is life or death. I mean, if we, we have a bad game or we have a bad day, we, we, there's another game the next day, or you can always go back and just move on and do something else. But with her, I mean, 
this is her life and she's fighting in it. I mean, she's an inspiration to everybody. And she's strong and um, she's gone through a lot with her and her family. And, you know, it's only right for, you know, us to, you know, show her support, you know. She's just been an inspiration to us, just seeing her fight through everything that she's had to fight through. And um, we just kind of feed off that. I couldn't imagine what it'd be like to be her family or, or be her for that matter. And, um, you know, it just puts it in perspective, you know what? Basketball is a game. You know, she's fighting for her life right now. And, um, you know, she's she really just an inspiration to, to all of us, and you know, we really play the game for her. Uh, it's great because uh, we can be able to reach out to, you know, community and help help other people that, that's in need. And I think that's what, you know, programs should do that, that has a powerful impact on, on people. Either way it goes, whoever we play, it's going to be a challenge. You know what I mean? Northwestern gave us a tough game at their place and here. Iowa gave us a tough game definitely at their place, and they fought for 40 minutes here. And uh, so it, it really doesn't matter who we play, just as long as we come prepared to play for 40 minutes and with Spartan basketball, and execute each and every one of our game plans and listen to our coach, and we should be fine. And it's really important for this year's team, probably more important than any team I've had here. We have to start playing good, which we've had our moments. And we have to win some games so we can play together. It's Michigan State, it's Northwestern. And we begin our version of the Big Ten Tournament here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Tips up and controlled by Michigan State, and here we go. Ball goes down low to Dawson. Dawson working on Crawford. Bank shot away. No tip pain. No. Rebound. Dawson back up off the glass. And it's in. With the ball is Lumpkin. He's in trouble at the baseline. and goes out of bounds. Nice defense by Brandon Dawson. Fresh 35 from Michigan State. Harris has it now wide open for a two. Deep in the corner, and it's good. Long rebound gathered up by Gary Harris. Cross court pass to Valentine. He'll try another three from the wing. This one he got. How about that? Kaminsky. The red shirt freshman hits it. Dawson. Harris has it ripped away, but he sticks with it. Brandon Dawson's been active on the boards that time. Another offensive rebound for points. With Matt Costello got the bounce pass, went right down the lane, slams it. Well, that is the definition of pick and roll. the move is Keith Appling. Appling jump shot about eight feet from the lane. Good. That goes over to Gary Harris. Drives the baseline. Reverse up. Oh, wow. What a circus shot that was. Gary Harris electrifying the crowd here. Payne head fake down the lane. Shots way off the glass. It's good. Dems trying to get his seam to go down low. Can't. Appling takes it from him. Appling's on the move, it's him and Crawford, and Crawford can't block it, and Appling lays it in for two more. Rebound, Denzel Valentine, he's on the move. Find it back pass to Trice for three, he got it. A lot of big dreams in Michigan State. Their dreams still live on here in this Big Ten tournament, and also 
as we look towards the NCAA tournament. We're going to the semifinals now to take on the Badgers of Wisconsin. Time of year, guys. You gotta lose yourself in the team. You know, no self now. Lose yourself. Okay, it's about us. It's the defense we played early was as good as any we've played all year and maybe in a couple of years. Family on three, one, two, three. Family! about what they run, it's about your energy. It's the kind of energy we're moving forward. Leave it all on the floor and remember that defense does win championships. Guys, the biggest thing that we gotta do is, again, play smart. Everybody else gotta keep moving their feet, keep working, keep talking, stay together, keep that thing packed in. Team, typical Tom Izzo club. They're gonna get after you. This Big Ten tournament semifinal matchup between Michigan State and Wisconsin Badgers. Now gives it over to Payne for three. He got it. Step back to the elbow. No good. What a rebound by Payne. Outlet pass to keep Apple. He's going fast. Now to Harris down the baseline. To Payne, here it comes. And then the beautiful finish in traffic by the big fella. Valentine with the find. Dawson with the finish. What a way to start this semifinal match. Showtime, and Bo Ryan calls a timeout. Down the lane, back shot good. Jay's making a move, and Costello blocks it. What a clean block. MSU has it, down the lane, Valentine. Scoop shot away, it's good. Price jump shot, free throw line, good. And Costello just found two inside for the Spartans. Backdoor pass goes to Dawson. What a block from behind by Travis Price. Payne wide open for a long two. He got it. Man, Michigan State is shooting lights out. We go grabbing wide open for a three. Is he going to get it? Oh, it popped out. The ball goes up and in by Dawson. And he's fouled and out the basket. Three out front. It's a long three. No, tip Gavin. No, rebound Gavin. Saves it to Trice, thinking about it, free, breaks to the basket. Down he goes, left hand on scoop shot, good, and he's fouled. What a play by Travis Trice. Blue ball, Gausser, tries to go to the backcourt, knocked away by Trice. Harris is on the run. He doesn't have numbers, but he goes anyway. Finger roll is good. New Valentine down the lane, the pain, pain. Bank shot away, no, follow slam, is good. with it now. Michigan State could use a bucket. He's wide open from the elbow, fires nothing but net for Keith Appling. Second goes down the lane, Harris takes it away. Goster takes it from him, Harris gets it back. Missed a layup, but on the follow, Brandon Dawson puts it in. The other man is Michigan State goes through its sets. Down low, what a great move by Dawson. Lob pass to Dawson, caught, fired, got it! He got it right in the buzzer! Steve Appling has it. Going down the lane, takes Hayes with it, back shot, good, and he's fouled! The flip it in, and Michigan State is going to the title game. And it is now official. Final score today from Indy in the semifinal game. It's Michigan State 83, Wisconsin 75. Um, they're definitely a great team, but that, it was good for us to, to fight through that and, and pull out a win against a great team. The energy level we play with in that first half, the way we ran, the fun you had. I mean, you look like as good a team as I've had here. Okay, how do we turn that into a whole game? All right, that's the mission, that's the goal, all right?
very few times that I know of there's a football and basketball team won the Big Ten Championship tournament at the same time, and even fewer is it done in the same city. So I might as well do it in your city. Because if we defend, we have just as many athletes or more they got. We're going to run better, we're going to get it out better. Hey. Hey. Tournament Championship. It's the Michigan State Spartans and the Michigan Wolverines. In tip controlled as usual by Michigan State. Here we go. Now to Harris on the move, reverse slam. Whoa, what a play by Gary Harris. This is Brandon Dawson, who's shooting 70% from the floor in the Big Ten Tournament. And guarded by Applin. Kicks in the side to Stauskas, and Harris takes it away! And he's all by himself! Yes! How about that for a slam? And what about that defense of Gary Harris? But this is just the size and strength advantage that Michigan State has. He's still dribbling shot clock at three. And here comes Trice with an underhand scoop shot. He beat the clock and he banked it in. And look at that smile on Travis's face. He knows that was a circus shot. Tries to pass it in the wing to Stouts because it's picked off by Harris, not Appling. Slams it home. Michigan State is about as dangerous a team going into the tournament as you can see. Final seconds now of the first half. Harris, Robinson on him. Ooh. Oh, what a move. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Goodness. Rebound, Brandon Dawson comes out now to keep Appling. Appling to Dawson. Down the lane, up off the glass, and it's in. on Appling, Appling knocks it away, they're on the floor, Trice has it, scoops it to Dawson, he's all by himself, look out. Oh, oh, oh. what effort by all the Spartans and Dawson with a finish. The downcourt pass from Stauskas is intercepted by Travis Trice, here comes MSU, Bob Payne, back shot, good. Oh. He just dribbled right through Michigan. As Michigan extends the defense, but Valentine breaks the press all by himself. Pull pass down low to a wide open Dawson for the easy slam dunk. Swing with the feed. And Michigan State smells blood. We don't have to look at the clock anymore because the clock is just at zero and Michigan State has just won the Big Ten Tournament. What a win for Michigan State. So Michigan State wins their fourth Big Ten Tournament Championship. That's Jim Delaney, the commissioner. And more confetti as well. Jim, I want to thank you. Uh, I want to thank all the fans. You guys are just awesome. I want to thank the city of Indianapolis because some pretty good things have happened here for us. You know, we won the national championship.
great for us to be able to win it, play again with each other, a full team. And, and uh, you know, we've just been excited. And, you know, BJ playing very well. Everybody's playing well as a team. And it's, it's just been great. Couldn't imagine a better feeling. You know, it was one of our goals since the beginning of the year. And uh, we really were uh, striving for it. And uh, we're incredibly happy to get the job done. She was a part of this family now, and I'm glad that she was able to come out and support support us. And uh, it was great that I was able to share this moment with her. You know, this is one of our goals to begin the season, and uh, you know uh, we had an opportunity at hand here to play in the championship game, and uh, we took full advantage of our opportunity. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our New York studio, the NCAA men's basketball championship. We just got to focus on preparing for our opponents and hopefully we can survive in advance. The number four seed, the Spartans of Michigan State. It's hard to win championships. Really hard to win championships. So embrace it. I, I can't tell you how proud I am of you. Bring it in, boys. Go, Russ. Champs. 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 Champs.